Here's Susan, Butler Family Farm, all bundled up. And uh, I had this idea for my goats because when I came out here last night, um, I had three or four of them that weren't able to get in, into the huts because the rooms were full, there was no room at the end. So I had this idea that if I blocked off the uh, round bales that are in here, and they'll probably nibble on the bottoms, but they won't be able to get through the centers. And after today, we may rearrange it a little bit. But I've got lots of hay out here, well not lots, but I have hay out here that they can clean up a lot. And I'm going to uh, back the mule out, close the door, and uh, dry back wet, but that's okay. Close the door tight, then I'm gonna open up, sorry, this side door and call them in. Um, I don't have my straw yet, I won't have that till Friday, and I'll have more huts to put out there uh, Thursday, Friday. Uh, I have a bag, uh, a bale of shavings, I think, it, yeah, it's a compressed bale for horses that I use a lot. And if I can coax them in here, then I'm going to go out and put their uh, sh uh, shavings in the um, in their huts and leave this door open because we've got rain the rest of this afternoon. We've got rain the rest of this afternoon and this evening with it to be uh, sunny uh, tomorrow and a little bit warmer, but it's still going to be wet out there. And then uh, this upcoming weekend, first part of next week, we've got another storm coming through. So, um, anywho, I'm going to uh, set this up so you can see how I get these goats in there if I get them in. Come on! Come on! If I can just get some of them to come in, then uh, that's, uh, you know, not as, not overcrowding at, uh, in the hut. So, uh, I'm going to set this down and hopefully I can drive them. If I show them a bucket, they might think that there's food in here. Hey, come on. So I got Frankie in here. I got uh, the new mama, her baby's out there. I got my Kiko goat, a pregnant mama. Here's a uh, Jester, and here's another pregnant gal. So that's a start. Now I'm gonna take uh, this bale of uh, shavings out, see what I can uh, get in there with all this water going. This is, yeah, you better go back out there and find your baby. This is just crazy. And these, these she's calling for. And these, these, uh, more goats are not real good with uh, water. Hey, Jeannie, come on, babe. Get my horse in here, too. Come on, Jeannie. Come on. I see you. So I have several in here, Nibbles and Jester and uh, my Kiko Doe and then on the other side of her is our chocolate Oreo and then I've got one one of my Dolings or soon to be Mama so then she'll be a nanny uh, from two years ago and then I don't, I don't, let's see if I can go over this way and get a better shot, but that's Nibbles with her hiney to you. She's always looking for food. And I think this one over here in the corner is Joni. The rest of them are in the huts. All got shavings. 
you can see uh, on the far side is uh, the dapple nanny and I think she's got somebody's baby in there right there but anyway there's like uh, all five of the babies are over there in huts there's Frankie sticking his head out and then um, so there's about two two adult goats per so two four six eight two four six eight ten twelve Get down from there. He, uh, that's got, uh, my bucket of, um, blankets and stuff, and I've got my mineral in there, and I'll probably have to take that out, because, hey, get down from there. That's not your business. He can see, he can smell, smell the mineral in the bucket. I don't have a pan in here, or I'd leave some out for him. Maybe that's what I'll do anyway, just to finish that off, because they, uh, they need it. So I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got eight, six in the barn, and eight adults out there with five babies. So, a eh, little print quarters, but not too bad. But you can see, there's our tire water, and that's not an overflow of the water, that's just the rain collection of the, probably, I think we're gonna get total between yesterday and today, an inch and a half, maybe. Because my Oscar, when I came out here, I think said 0.65, so that's almost, it's between a half and three quarters of an inch. But we have a lot of low spots. This one right here, because this is where the tractor always goes in and out. Can't get Jeannie to come in. She might figure it out in a few minutes after I leave. But she's uh, facing the east, which is uh, where the wet weather's coming from. But hopefully this will dry up before the next storm comes through. It's sopping wet out here. This is our road from Starling back to the barn. And then, as you can see alongside of it, is the uh, where the calves are at between these two pens. And uh, they've got quite a bit of water. And when we had our herd out here, this is like a pond in a sense because we would drive in and out of here with the tractor so we've you know compacted things down we don't have that many out here so it just needs to be worked and of course that's a probably a summertime job or spring when it's still damp and we can get the uh, grader out here but yep this is this is my world when it rains and yes we want the rain so that the grass will grow but not so heavy that it makes this we want the ground to be able to uh, you know soak it up so I'm gonna head back to the house have some soup make some ham and bean soup for tonight tomorrow have a cup of tea which is what I usually do when I come out from being out here and get a little dried out get my clothes and stuff dried out but as you can see I have my little community has habitat, and then the rest are in the barn, and I've got the hay blocked off. So, until later, thanks for watching, and uh, come with us again on the next video.